Good people, I'm Dimitri and I think I found my perfect keyboard. This is the Ducky 1-2 SF. SF stands for 65%. This thing is capable of things I never even knew I wanted or even existed on keyboards before. And if you require a numpad, I totally respect that. That's why full-size keyboards exist. But if you are a TKL lover like me, here are my five reasons of why I think you should consider an even smaller keyboard like the Ducky 1-2 SF. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, there we go. This is the Excel I'm looking for. Welcome the O11 Excel by Lee and Lee, stepping it up with upgrades all around for enthusiast builds with perfect radiator spacing in the bottom on the side and the top, with now a slightly wider main chamber for taller GPUs and rear exhaust area. The second chamber will hide all your cables and house hot swappable drives for a complete package all around. This is the O11 Excel by Lee and Lee, giving you room to grow. So over the last five years, I've settled on TKL keyboards to give me extra room for mouse movement at lower DPI without needing to angle the keyboard like you would have to with a full-size layout. Reason number one, obviously, the size. And while the 65% is even smaller than your traditional TKL, allowing my hands to be slightly closer to each other for better comfort during CSGO or Apex Legends. Also, with the TKL keyboard, I still sometimes hit the right side with my mouse during strong left flicks, and this is no longer a thing with the one to SF. Also for mobile users, it's a keyboard you can actually carry inside backpacks, plus the foam factor is a lot less awkward than using a full-size keyboard with a notebook. Reason number two, all the important keys are separated. The one to SF has that extra row on the right side with dedicated arrow keys, unlike with the one to mini that is a 60% keyboard. And this means that delete key is separated from backspace, which is very crucial for my editing workflow. Plus the arrow keys are always handy in productivity, so you don't need to activate that second layer using IJKL for navigation. I can live without the numpad, but the mini having no dedicated arrow keys and no delete key is a bit too mini for me. This does mean the right side of the 1-2SF is not standardized for keycap swapping, like the smaller shift and alt plus FN keys, but from a productivity standpoint, I have all the same functionality as a TKL board, but with a much smaller footprint. Also, when was the last time you actually used the F1 to F12 keys? I literally never used it except for F9 to smooth out the keyframe in After Effects and having that row minimized and built into the number signs as a second layer of commands is totally worth it. That gives me all the same functionality when I need it, but at a much smaller footprint. And reason number three is the price. So the Ducky 1-2 SF can be pre-ordered right now for $109, while the Ducky 1-2 Mini can be picked up for under $100. And honestly, this makes them very competitive versus full size and TKL options from our usual gaming brands, none of which offer double shot PPT keycaps at this price point. We all know PPT keycaps just feel better and won't exhibit the usual glossy surface over time like you'd see on ABS keycaps. I also love their approach with the quality font and extra set of colored keycaps to style up the board a little bit. Both the SF and Mini connect via Type-C cable, which is impressive, and have a pretty satisfying build quality that is mainly plastic. My only complaint here is the body flex from the top and bottom. I also love the dual angular adjustment that have nice stability to them and rubber padding so the keyboard does not slide around. Also, I've typed on my fair share of switches with Ducky being the most satisfying in terms of how they feel with quality stabilizers and also how they sound sound. Reason number four are custom features on such a tiny board. So here we have built-in mouse navigation that actually works very well with left and right clicks and scroll support as well. I enabled the notification bell using this feature alone. You have six profiles saved on a keyboard without the need to access any of the drivers. On these profiles, you can record macros to any key aside from caps lock and function. And this customization alone is worth so much more than space wasting dedicated macro keys on full-size keyboards. You have 
have built-in media playback controls and volume adjustments as like second layer commands. We have DIP switches below the board to turn off your Windows key or change the key rollover. You can even switch the caps lock key to act as your function key. You can even change the debounce time for mechanical switches. And all of this is here to show that with the additional key layering, you can have so much extra functionality without expanding or ballooning the size of the keyboard. And the reason number five are the looks. So aside from the usual perky color customization you do on the board yourself, even with RGB individual color adjustment and many lighting presets built in, there is no denying the unique appearance of something like the one to SF or the mini in a setup either gaming, productivity, coding, writing, whatever. Plus the extra keycap sets is just a bonus. And if you venture out into more custom keycap designs and keycap sets, the one to mini and the SF are a really great place to start in terms of making the keyboard that you really want to have. Uh, the mini more so because that is the traditional 60% layout, while the SF is a little bit less traditional with that right side and non-traditional keycap sizes. And so those are my five reasons why the Ducky 12 SF is my perfect keyboard. And whenever I'm reviewing anything larger, TKL or full size, they feel way too big now for my space because this thing has all the functionality that I would normally achieve or get from a TKL keyboard, but a much smaller footprint. But that's it for me. Check out the links in the description below for other keyboard options and what is your perfect keyboard. If you have one, let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Check out this other relevant content. I'll talk to you in the next video.